It was like, I'm donating so I can be higher, or something like that. It was really funny. So let's do that again. But anyway, back. Now, I was just saying, why am I still looking at Steve? No, we got Sephiroth versus Steve. Steve, Steve Minecraft on so, PS2. Jules playing Steve, playing Enderman specifically. We've seen many Steves over here in the Tri-State area, of course, most notably being D Dog. Um, but otherwise, you mean Quandale Dingle Lingleton? Yeah, we have Quandale Dingle Lingleton uh, over in the Tri-State area. I believe also we have people like uh, Aries, Corey, Aries, 404. Corey, yep bunch of Steve players and also a bunch of Sephiroth players today. So do I really need to go over the tech that we just talked about with Sephiroth two games ago? Yes. So basically, <laughs> basically, Sephiroth has wing out. Uh, the thing with Sephiroth in the matchup, he's light and Steve hits super hard, especially when Diamond is out. Once you have Diamond out, it's just, it really sucks. Ah! What did I say? Yep. What did I say? Y'all heard that sweet spot? Oh, that was crazy. Yeah, I just dropped on the good old pickaxe spear, just always spiking. Why is it spike? Because Why just fight? <laughs> he needs it. He needs it. No, he doesn't. He needs it and more. He doesn't need anything. So if I recall correctly, on PS2, you are more likely to get your your basic tools, such as or your basic blocks. Yes, you are. stone and, and, and so wood. Huh? The, so the green part of PS2 is normal, like FD and, yeah. uh, and Battlefield, but the edges are iron. Uh, iron? I see. Which makes sense. I, I would have assumed. Just because the edges is made, is made of iron. Thank you. Yeah, and but now I know that this matchup yeah. is very interesting because Steve Mates have kind of just worked it down to being even. But Sephiroth has a very slight edge over Steve because he's able to kind of just throw out all these back airs, just deleting walls and getting really in their space. And then when you can call out their minecarts, it does big boy damage with the scintilla. Looking at the names, not going to be me. Ooh, no, I'd I be remembering the name sometimes, especially with that burst, good old burst nice. dash attack. And now we have Wing also out right now, which is, gives it. Oh, why would you? Why would you do that? Why would you allow? Uh, you you kind of have to just do that. Nah, bro. You can break the break the table. I'm a firm believer that you should break the table. You should. Whenever that you is have what the opportunity you should. To. Because it forces Steve to just for uh, use materials to just build the crafting table yes. right on back up. And Jules is really that just sucks. trying to go out there for that, that stock, sucks. and she finds it because Kaiju is overshooting a little bit with the blade dash. And now we're seeing oh, Jules I thought going it was to happen town. again. I got so scared. Yeah, the good old scoop from the Octo Slash. Yeah, Steve is just a. He's a character. Steve is a character, truly. Yeah, but and, Jules, was... and Jules, she's playing it really well. And just like that, boom, you have a really good setup going with the with the stone. Um, Sephiroth can't do nothing. And you're stuck in that little area where the stone wasn't. And guess what's going to happen? You get anviled. And you're Jules, she smoked. predicted that. Yeah, I love this coverage here. Right just here, the yeah. nil, just the nil aerial to just knock him off into the corner. Just cover this space and drop a good old anvil mm -hmm. on your head. A donk. Donk. Yeah, Jules played that really, really well, especially with the last stock. Unfortunately, there was an SD on Kaiju's end. However, we're going right back to the PS2. Hopefully, we can see a more close game this time with no SDs. Uh, whatsoever. Not even SD. It was just uh, like, it really sad timing for the auto slash anyway. So yeah, and uh, wow. Steve has really good frame data to kind of just run up on Seth space and do lots of big boy damage. But Kaiju is more of a really defensive Sephiroth player, so he is kind of just looking at Jules right now. Just mind, get all the resources you want. Steve will play their game. There is no way working around it. You can do as much as you want to stall it, but they will inevitably get the diamonds. Unless you break the crafting table. I'm, I'm just saying, and that's, that's a big play in my, in my mind. Yeah, get rid of that crafting table. It's you, right there. Get rid of it. It's, it's also really in the way, out of the way for Steve. I'm not gonna lie. So I wouldn't even worry about it. It's mostly when it's like in the middle of the stage where it's like, bro, it's a problem. Yep, and Kaiju is just kind of dancing around. It. <laughs> all around Jules, still trying to yes. find an opening. And we're, we're saving private crafting table. We're keeping, we're holding down the fort. Nice. Kaiju turning this game completely around. We have Giga Flare not getting anything off it. Unfortunately, just with the roll in from the ledge, is really gonna work for Jules to get away from that, that scary situation. And Jules having some really good coverage over here, trying to burst on out with the powered minecart, not really scooping anything on up. And Kaiju playing with this uh, lead currently going with this uh, this percentage. Steve Fair though might want to say other things about it. 
No, it's just kind of a little bit neutral right now. Just kind of figure out which which character can actually get in and do what they want first. And there's a minecart possibly coming with the fair next. Someone, you saved you saved her. You saved her. She was dead right there. Steve was not gonna make that that. Yeah, just had to go all had to. on in. Let's it right. Yep, and calling it out the minecart with the good old Sephiroth back here. Kaiju is gonna be in the lead now for this game. And now this is things mm -hmm. get nice and scary, or I guess comfortable if you're the Sephiroth in this situation, because Sephiroth can have some really good planking against Steve, and you put them in a situation where you're really forced to just approach the Sephiroth and do in your damage. And Kaiju is very comfortable with just waiting and sitting and just looking at you, do whatever you want to just come on in. And Kaiju is still in control right now, setting up with the back airs, controlling Absolutely. that space, just commanding it all. And Jules is still looking for this opening while trying to get back all of her iron resources back. Oh man, the, the wooden bugs actually just protected Jules a little bit longer from getting hit with the Mega Flare. Wow, and it's, <laughs> it still hasn't worked. Yeah, really no! Oh, can't be okay, dropping yes! shields there. I'm sorry, I got scared. I was like, no, there's no. I thought the flat part of PS2 was gonna stop um, Kaiju from coming back to the stage. No, we have no pineapples here good. today, and Kaiju is going for it all, trying to snipe out a minecart with the up tilt. Unfortunately, not working out. But Kaiju still sitting very comfortably with this percent lead, or with this lead right now. Absolutely, look, look, huge lead. Look at this lead. Two stocks. Two ahead. stocks up on Steam. 124 no on diamonds? Steam. And you have. Oh, you had no wing, of course, because I'm so used to wing being out by red. I'm just like, yeah, 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 no wing still. And now, for most characters, this is the most important part when you play against Steve is, you know, I guess watching out for that power minecart. But yeah. aside from that, when they have no iron, that is your okay to just go on in because they benefit so much from iron, but deficits mean nothing when you play Minecraft Steve. Oh my gosh. So now we're even. Like, I, I can't even lie. Oh, no. We're, we're, no, stop it. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we can't be doing all that. No trauma, no trauma. Kaiju had all that work done for them, it with, and within a minute, two of the socks were just gone. That's the power of diamonds, baby. We're always crafting oh, them. Oh my goodness. The minecart saved her. I cannot believe this. Minecart actually saved her, but just she jumped out just in time before the up smash actually connected. Had she stayed in that minecart for a little bit longer, she would have just been dead. Straight up. I think she would have been dead. Yep, and Kaiju is really looking for this opening to just shave off this stock. Oh. And Jules is looking primed and ready to just let a diamond nice. minecart... <laughs> diamond minecart. Reinfor diamond yeah. forward smash just rip. I really like catching the jump with the diamond fair because um, you you're kind of can just condition by the minecart just throwing in on out. That's huge. I'm shocked we didn't go for an up smash right there. That would have been a perfect opportunity just to scoop and kill uh, Kaiju right then and there. But now Jules is now struggling to come back to the stage safely. Rolling through the Giga Flare and Ooh, oh. Trying to read a minecart, unfortunately. And just spot mm -hmm. dodging through any attempt Kaiju can throw. Oh my goodness. But the forward no smash way. just rocking and closing out That's that crazy. set. Wow. This, that comeback was crazy. That comeback was honestly crazy. Yo, Kaiju had that whole game under his belt. And then guess what? Jules is like, hey, yeah. I'm playing I'm playing creative mode. Play Minecraft Never forget, bro. I'm playing creative mode. Do not play with me. Oh, that's so sad. Kaiju had it just No, yeah, Kaiju literally had the the read of where Jules was gonna no, sorry, where no, where I'm I'm confusing names. Jules had the read of where Kaiju was gonna roll. And yeah. this is where boom. Because it's all about that position, you know. You're in a really good no, spot. You have the uh, the advantage mean. position right here, and you can kind of just react to what your opponent does. And Kaiju just rolled on through. He's like, "Oh, you just rolled next to me? Okay, thanks." Literally.